hello friends so in this video tutorial we will learn how to create a rest buffer with using soap ui okay so for this i have created one presentation we will follow that presentation and we will follow same step in soap ui also okay so let's begin so first step is select file option and inside file create empty project okay so go to soap ui here you can see file option click on file and create empty project so here you can see one project with project one with project name is project one created okay so next move to second step so here you can see we have three options so we can expand this window we can close this window so with the help of this option i can expand i can close okay so let's expand this window okay now next step next we can give some logical name to this project okay for this what we will do we will right click and we will select rename option so let's right click on this and select rename option okay here we can give some logical name so i am giving rest rest mock project okay and then click on okay so you can see one uh, that project name change to rest mock project okay now next step now we need to create one mock service okay so for that what will what we will do we will again right click on that uh, rest project and we will select new rest mock service okay so right click on this and select new rest mock service okay and we will give name as a rest mock service one okay then click on okay so we have given rest mock service one and click on ok now when you double click on this newly mock service so this window will come again we can expand this window with the help of this ok so next each we will do some setting for this new rest mock service so we have one option for setting here okay so click on this setting and you can see there are many things like path host 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 only and doc root so here we will do we will change host name as a local host and port name we need you need to use some unique port that your system is not using so i am giving some random unique name like uh, unique port 8097 okay so i am not sure but most probably this port is not using by any service okay so again after selecting this click on okay so we have done with setting configuration of this rest mock service okay what is next so we will create new mock action for that we need to create uh, and we need to click on rest mock service and select new mock action so just click on this and select new mock action so here you can choose uh, method based on your requirement so i am select get method okay and you must need to give some resource path what i am giving that resource path as a slash get okay then click on okay so now uh, we have created one new mock action which is this one okay next select newly created mock action okay and then select new mock response okay so now expand this here we have that newly created mock action S click on this and select new mock response and give some logical name 
so i am giving response one and click on okay again expand this response one okay so again here you can see we have many thing first one is uh, status code we have many status code like okay created accepted errors codes also we have so here we are uh, selecting okay means success status code okay then second important thing is content so what kind of response you want to send if you want to send application xml then you need to select this in this case i am sending response as a application or json so i am selecting this option like this and after that you need to write your json response so here i am giving i am writing my json response i am creating one detail object and this object contain two key two key element one is name which contain data john that should be separated by comma and second is role that is of integer type and giving role number j1 okay so i have created one json payload for response okay so next we need to start this port to test our service rest mock service we need to start service using this okay so what you will do for that just click on this newly created mock service here you can see one option to start okay so after the start we need to test okay so for testing we need some detail means we need url of our mock service so how to get that url so just click on setting so from here we will uh, see uh, we have host as a local host port 8097 and url is slash slash gate okay so we will give this url in our browser first local host then port 8097 slash gate so when we click on this see there are currently zero running soap ui mock service okay so what we need to do we need to start this service so here we will click on this now see running on port 8097 okay so we'll go back here on browser and refresh this page so here we can see we get a one uh, json payload in response okay so we can change response now we are sending uh, currently we are sending application json i want to send xml so i will send change application xml and i will change this payload Sim i am creating similar html uh, xml payload okay inside detail we have two element one is name and second one is role okay in role i am giving value one in name i am giving value as john okay and our content type is application xml and again state HTTP status code is 200 okay now refresh this page so here you can see xml payload okay so we have completed how to create rest mock service with the help of soap ui